very competitive. <laughs> I have a list of things that I've knocked off. Um, and whenever I see something, I go after it. I've got the opportunity, I might as well take advantage. When I was in high school, my junior, senior year, I really got into the industry, um, working with a local celebrity chef in town. He really drove me to go to school. After graduating from the Clients to America in, in New York, um, I went back to Phoenix and I worked for Chef Bo McMillan at Elements Restaurant. And then from there, I took over as the executive chef at Lodge on the Desert. Um, we're a boutique hotel. When I was at the CIA, I graduated the Dean's List, the Culinary Institute of America. Um, after graduating the Dean's List, I was a student spotlight. So I was nominated for the Big Iron Chef event locally in Tucson. We ended up winning. So um, I took that title home and I hold the current title here in Tucson as the Iron Chef. And then I was in the American Culinary Federation um, Junior Chef of the Years. And um, we had a mystery basket where we had to create all these ingredients. Took third place though. And uh, it was it was a great experience. Um, there, well, there's certainly uh, three points that that I could point out that managers look for, or owners look for in a restaurant. And the first one is, is costs. I mean, hitting those P and L numbers, whether it's labor costs, it's food costs. And then secondly, of course, management. Um, how you can manage um, your employees, um, whether you know they're in the front of the house and they're back in the kitchen. How you can direct them and help them flow throughout the kitchen or just your staff um, as, a, as a kitchen director and executive chef. Um, and then most importantly is the food. My ideal restaurant situation would, would definitely have to be um, 40 to 50 seats, finding those flavors that are local and adapting the menu to that. I mean, my style is uh, American, new American. So what I like to do is take any type of cuisine, whether it be you know something from Texas or something from another region, and developing my own twist on that with using local flavors.